Next news is out of New York, USA. There's a kitten, there's a new case of a rabbi sucking on a newborn's penis and giving him herpes. So this problem has actually been going on uh, for a while now. Since 2016, since 2006, there have been 19 infants that have contracted herpes um, in this way, and it's typically done strictly through the ultra orthodox Jewish Jewish culture. Um, they they. Once, once the circumcision is done, the rabbi puts the, the child's penis in his mouth and he sucks the blood out. Well, the problem with this is, is if they have herpes, they spread it to the child. And in early um, September of this year, an infant was circumcised on the eighth day of its life uh, by a moil who performed this exact type of circumcision. 10, day, 10 days later, they found that the infant had a rash on his genitals, groin, and buttocks. The family, they had no idea what this was, right? They uh, they thought that this was some sort of diaper rash. This was some sort of, um, you know, crazy, crazy thing that they had never seen before. So they take him to the doctor. They're like, what's going on with our son? What kind of diaper rash cream do we need for this kid? After running tests, because it was just getting worse, um, it, it was actually herpes, um, that was given to this baby and two, two babies have actually died since 2006 as well, um, because of their herpes infection getting out of control. Honestly, if this had happened under any other label, people would be out in the streets and there would be this, whatever this cult or whatever, uh, whatever other label you had used it would be denounced and people would call it. A barbaric ideology and it wouldn't last a week it would it would be people would be arrested but because it's Judaism people wouldn't say that people would like oh religious is, freedom yeah religious freedom religious privilege religious privilege lets you suck on babies dicks and get them kill them this I mean here's this is what people mean by religious freedom right yeah like honestly who how else would this be accepted in a society where was this this is in new york in the united fucking states the most advanced country in the world the government allows certain group of people to cut and suck on people other babies dicks okay yeah this is what religion this is how powerful religion is that you get away with that and this is why by the way Judaism right now, people are more sensitive about it because Islamophobia accusations is not working as much anymore. But now everybody is anti-Semitic. Now every every time you talk about Judaism, stuff like this reminds should be a reminder for all of us that we need to go after Judaism now because now that dr that line is being drawn for us not to attack Judaism because everybody everybody used to be Islamophobic. Now everybody is anti-Semitic. Okay. We need to we need to double down on Judaism because that whenever they, they whenever they want to draw those lines, we need to show people that these these fucking lines does not work. All right, we need to show everybody that your lines doesn't mean shit to us. More people need to focus on Judaism because I used to say everybody should focus on Islam more than any other religion. And my reasoning for that was because that's the one that they don't want us to attack. All right. That's the one that, like, I when I say when I say shit about Christianity, people were like, yeah, 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 Christianity bad, you know. But when you say that about Islam, people are like, oh, it's racism, bigotry, whatever. Now people are like cooling down on that. So Judaism is the one that everybody is sensitive about. We need to go after Judaism. Look at this. Judaism has managed to get the government of the United States. To allow certain group of people to do this. Are you serious? Who, what other ideology would let you do that? Like, well, can 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 we be fair about that? What other ideology lets you do this? They let Christians here in this country, especially in Idaho, um, they let Christian parents. Uh, kill their children by not getting the medical that, treatment. They that's what I meant. Religion. To happen. That's what I meant. I'm saying the label of religion. Yeah. Right? Get Islam, Christianity, Hinduism, whatever, lets you get away with stuff that you wouldn't have been able to get away with under any other label. Any other label? Can you can you tell me any other label? It has. It's a religious privilege. 
No other form of ideology lets you get away with this. In United fucking States. This is what, this is what, I mean, come on, guys. Imagine if this, like, we're now used to this. Imagine if this was something that was not introduced to the world and just a whole cult with, that wasn't a religion was just like, hey, we do this, our babies. Every, like, this whole thing would have been shut down. I don't understand, man. Fuck I Judaism. Want, I mean, can I, I, can I, I, I say I, that? I think we're going to lose our YouTube channel now. Fuck Judaism. Can I say that? Yeah, you can say that. Oh, my because God. Yeah, yeah if, if we do get shut down, we'll <laughs> still scream. Fun Guys, shit. if we if we if we lose yeah, our channel, I'm can sorry, but this is this this goes above and beyond um, uh, anything. We what? Who else is allowed to suck a baby's penis? <laughs> and th this is just this is just insane on so many different levels. So many different levels. And and no one is crying about it because they're afraid if they do so, they're mm -hmm. criticizing a culture or they're criticizing, you know, an entire group of people. They don't want to come off as looking. Um, um, it, it's just it's why are we so afraid? People are sucking babies penises and giving them herpes. Stop being afraid and start calling bullshit bullshit. Right, and to be fair, the cutting part is the main crime, right? Right, so yeah, well, so, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, but, yeah. The emo yeah. emotionally, people are more disgusted by the sucking part, but they should be more uh, logically, they should be more emotionally concerned about the cutting part. You're cutting sure. babies, sure. What, well, whatever, whatever it is, let's let's stop with, with you know, this situation we're talking about Judaism and and cutting and sucking yeah. penises. The other situation is Christians murdering their children, murdering. Their children, mm. um, because they don't want to get medical treatment for them. Let's let's stop being afraid. And let's start calling this out. We need to start standing in front of courthouses and screaming about this because this is this is outrageous. And and we need to call out Judaism for the barbaric, backward, ancient, out of date ideology that it is. Okay. Yeah. We need to call it out for that. And any any politician that has ever made an excuse for any of these activities because it's religious practice or culture or whatever, they should be called out as well. They should all lose their fucking jobs. By the way, guys, please support our channel because after all the anti-Jewish stuff that we said, after baby sucking penis stuff that we said, after all the swear words that I just used, honestly, these these videos on uh, YouTube is not gonna make any. YouTube is like, yeah, this is gonna we're gonna push this downvote this video to oblivion, right? So please share our content because we we want to be able to talk about this stuff. Um, Ali, did you want to add anything? Yeah, just you know. Anyone watching this that's not an atheist, because I know it's just preaching to the choir, uh, so, to, so to speak, but leave children out of it. Yeah. Just leave children out of it. You want to be a faith healer? You want to pray that God takes away your cold or God, you know, is your, your diabetes medicine? Awesome. Good on you. But children, get them to 18. Let them decide on their own what they want to do. Quit forcing this on children. Oh, my God. That's all I want to say. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.